Welcome to the second rendition, the second in the series of Corrado Games and Saskia Watches. Saskia Watches. And this time I'm giving Saskia a break because it is not, to my knowledge at least, it's not a scary game. Yay. Uh, and Saskia has no idea what game this is. And no. she, she doesn't know what to expect. She's never heard but of it But I before. do because I've I researched computers. the game very minimally. Oh, so you don't know the game either? I know enough that it's hilarious okay. and enough that I will get a good reaction. Okay. So we're gonna start. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Begin the game. This, the end is loaded. the end. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big mm -hmm. building where he was employee number 427. Weird. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. How Seems like a nice job. Not really. Order. <laughs> this is what employee 427 did every day. He used to sit every in a house in a room by year. himself. That's so what he did. Although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Why? As though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Peculiar. Something that would forever peculiar. change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Dun, dun, dun. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Enter the story. No one had showed up story. to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete Looks isolation. like lost. Every Something 108 minutes, you gotta enter the code, guys. <laughs> Shot, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Cool. So what do you think, zombie apocalypse? Is that the first I don't thing? know. Would the computer still work if there was a zombie apocalypse? It looks like there's a message on your phone. That's the message light. I don't know what the keys are. <laughs> I thought you researched. Hold on a second. What are the keys? Ugh, Corrado. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't look Corrado. at this. Corrado. WASD. I what thought everything's the same. Doing? Use buttons, just click. Okay, look, it's the same. So then why do you even need to look at this? Well, because I wanted to make sure. Resume the game. Ugh. Right. <laughs> Just go out. There you go. That's the room of somebody else. Yeah. That's all. This is all a this crappy office. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe he <laughs> missed a memo. He's not a very smart man, is he? Oh, you can't go in your own can't room. Go anymore. back in my own room. Those memos on the ground? No. 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 You have to go to the meeting room. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. <laughs> so go to the meeting room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, <laughs> but it didn't what? make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, Corrado. That's really funny. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> oh, did you just close that door? I did. Oh, good job. This is weird. There's a lot These of people. These people left their monitors on. Way to go. Oh, this one left a mess. Oh, Username, that one access. Stuff. What does it uh, say? Oh, did you just do that? I did. Oh. These people are messy. Well, apparently something has Stanley happened. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the <laughs> office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. funny. Good, good. Closing doors behind you. That's uh, that's always a good thing to do. Where are we going? I'm going to the meeting room. Apparently. Right. Yes. Which is just the next available door that's not locked, probably. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well? 
No, you didn't. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> I can't even go back. That's, That's great. amazing. That's great. This is messy. I know. This is so funny. Every room just has a number on it. Yeah, well, that's where all the employees work, I right? don't see any employee... You are literally opening every door. Or oh, trying. Well. Ah, oh, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Very nice. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. <laughs> Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes, definitely. Can I'm going to change drink, the mouse drink? sensitivity. What is wrong with you? The mouse sensitivity is too high. Oh, my goodness. It's better. Okay. I want Can a you beverage. Get a drink? Well, you were drinking it all in, but I don't think you meant yes. drinking. Yeah. Really, really <laughs> worth it being here in the room. room I'm trying to get so a drink, mister. That even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. They're nice chairs. Really worth it. <laughs> don't you argue with me, Stephen but Fry. Eager to get like. back to business, Stanley took the first really open door on eager. his left. Nope. Definitely not very eager. Are we gonna do this? Oh, this is sketchy. Uh. He said first open door on your left. Should I go in the first open door on my left? Well, that's where he wants you to go. <laughs> the music changed and I didn't really like it. Okay, so then we won't do it. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> <gasps> do not lie. You are lying right now. Stop. Stop lying. This is funny. What are you even... Oh, I'm just clicking on things. Well, you're not... It's not accomplishing anything. That will... I don't, I Ooh, need a you need a card! Is that an elevator? Uh... Right there? Yeah? Do not jump from the cargo lift while it will cause death. Good. Uh, alright. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Oh, who? For her. Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. What is She's happening? been waiting. She's waiting, Stanley. Stanley, don't do this. This looks like one of those levels in Max Payne. I don't know. This what looks you're exactly about. like one of the levels in Max Payne. I don't even know what that means. That's because mean nothing. you're uncultured. <laughs> I'm uncultured. Oh, good, black. Black hole. Hey, a phone. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To uh, reach out to her. If you can sketchy. truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. How? I can click on it. Pick it up. Uh. What? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Can't move. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. That's <laughs> weird. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. What? Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? What? <laughs> I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. This is creepy. Uh, just... Sorry, but Whoa. you must oh. let him know. Oh, no, but he's getting a little violent. Wow, wasn't expecting that. Now we're alone in a room this with a This is a very mannequin. sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? Uh, what? Good morning, employee. Press eight on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing what? of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. That's nice. What if I don't do it? Press O. 
Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. <laughs> I'm not Stanley. Now he's pushing yes, you are. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Oh. Now he's coming back to work. Why One is might this even happening? feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. No. I refuse to push the G button. I don't think anything will happen. Do I'm I have sure. to wait? I don't know. Do you just hang out and wait until you... But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the what? unknown. Sounds like fantastic the movie that's coming out. discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. What? And what? The misadventures of Mitty or something. Oh. A reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And and so he watch began TV. to fantasize about his own what TV? job. There wasn't there a TV he here? There totally was. Work, he stepped up from his desk to was realize it that wall? all of his no. co-workers, his boss, there was everyone a TV in there. the building what? had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Oh my gosh. Nine to spend time with the boys. So oh, boys. he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last choice it barely even mattered what lay behind each door the mere thought that his decisions would mean something <laughs> was almost too yep. wonderful to behold okay as he wandered through this what is happening world, he began know. to fill it with many possible paths and destinations down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Oh my and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it what? a the game with Stanley a baby. Parable. I don't know. Okay, I guess I'm going to tell my kids story. It was a story. such a wonderful fantasy. And so well, in this guy is telling he stories. It again and then again and again, over and over, wishing okay. beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always I just really want that free. mannequin to go away. Because sure, <laughs> it is really path. creeping Must me out. Be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Uh, but there is no uh, answer. Okay, well, at least... How could there possibly be? At least In reality, the creepy all mannequin he's is doing gone. is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Um, and I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains <laughs> here, he's slowly killing himself. I think he's himself. just, like, trying to ruin your life now. Me. So I picked the Don't wrong stop. ones after telling me? Yeah. Yes. Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, no. do not do it. Uh. So then what? We just hang out here? Uh. Don't do it. You see? I had to. Can he just not hear me? I had to push How the button. Can tell him in Why? A way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself. How Get can I get him office. to see what I see? Yeah, that's neat. How can I make him look at himself? That's weird. Press Y to question I nothing. <laughs> Not in the way I want to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, uh -oh. the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. That lighting doesn't I'll make any sense. I'll try once more to convey no. all this to That him. should not be I'm that far away. To. I must. Perhaps, That's not right. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. Maybe. And I tried again. Whoa, well, okay. And Stanley pushed wow. a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Did? What just happened? I think. Was that supposed to happen? Did you just die? That was, that was one run through of the game. What? That was it. That was one run through the game. I don't get it. That was the game. So... We found one of the endings of the game. So there's just multiple endings to this game? There is. Well, look at all the rooms we didn't go in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what? There is a ton of endings to this game. A ton of them. Oh. Apparently, we just found the one. Okay. And there's other ones. Uh-huh. And so, next time... We're gonna do, gonna play again, and get through another one. Okay. And it's gonna be great. If you say so. It's gonna be hilarious. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. Oh my name my is Stanley. Gosh. I have a 